Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about Blacklight. Does it suck? Are you in luck? Stay tuned till the end to find out. Let's get into it. This film was directed by Mark Williams. This is the second movie that he has directed and written that involved Liam Neeson. This movie apparently still had two other people involved in writing it, Nick May and Brandon Revis. You may want to keep that in mind as we go into the plot. I'm going to go ahead and read you the plot synopsis that Frank, last name, decided to put on IMDb so he could help all of us out. Thank you so much, Frank, last name. I appreciate you. I am going to have to edit a few things because I cannot for the life of me read this out loud. Political activist Sophia is killed in what appears to be a hit and run accident outside of her home. Vietnam War veteran Travis Block works as a fixer for the director of the FBI. Gabriel Robinson. Travis wants to retire and spend more time with his daughter and his granddaughter. Mira, a journalist, claims to have information about Sophia's death and proof that it was not an accident. She got the intel from Dusty, who also claims to have information about a top secret FBI operation called Project Unity, which kills innocent civilians just like Sophia. Gabriel tells Travis that his last assignment is to bring in Dusty Crane. Travis has no choice now but to confront his FBI boss Gabriel with this information. But who is speaking the truth? Again, Frank, I appreciate you, man. I really do. But, um, I don't remember any of that. And even though I watched the movie, none of that even made any sense to me. That is how bare bones this movie feels. The plot? I don't know what it is. It is so generic it doesn't stick out. And there's three writers. Three people put in their opinion on this. How is that even possible? How did all three of you decide, you know what would be best? You know what people want to see? They want to see a screw over a movie by writing the most generic bullcrap that we've seen in every other action movie down. And what... Nobody cares! Seriously, this isn't even an action movie when it only has one, two, three, maybe even four action scenes. How can it be called an action movie when that's all there is within the one hour and I don't know, 40 minute runtime? I don't even remember. I may have been asleep through half of it. Who knows? Maybe I blacked out. That is how boring, tedious, repetitious, and stupid this movie's plot was. Since the plot needed all the support it could get, let's see if the characters carried their weight. First up on the Travis block is RMC, played by none other than the legend himself, Liam Neeson. Now Liam, before I say what I want to say, I just gotta say that you are one of my favorite actors and I mean absolutely no disrespect. I've been watching you kick butt since I can remember, and the last thing that I want to think about is maybe you're not cut out for it anymore, but... In the action scenes themselves, you still look like you got it in you. You still look like you could take me any day, no problem. But oh buddy man, when that chase scene happened, my suspension of disbelief couldn't be suspended any longer. See, they decided to make it seem like you could run just as fast as the guy you're chasing, but in reality, even the wide shots were saying, ha 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 ha, no he can't. It would have been far more beneficial if they gave you a partner, so whenever, you know, there's a high speed foot chase going on, you could be like, ha, nope, and go get the vehicle while your partner continues to chase him on foot. Or they could have made it so you had to be a little more creative when trying to catch people instead of, uh, I don't know, trying to run. Or heck, they could have just went the whole person of interest route and you could have just took their kneecaps out. Okay, okay, enough about how he was portrayed, let's just talk about the character himself. He was bland. I didn't care about him. I didn't care that he was supposed to care about his family. I didn't care about his family. In fact, I didn't care about any of the other characters. You know what, screw it. Moving on, let's just get into the age-old question. Does it suck? Or are you in luck? It sucks. I mean, this is probably the most bang average Liam Neeson movie I have ever sat through. And the worst part about it, what makes it go underneath that, is the fact that it was so forgettable. There is not a single 
moment in this movie that made me go, wow, look, haha, <laughs> I'm having some semblance of fun, because I wasn't. I legitimately re-watched part of this movie because I honestly couldn't remember what happened. And that was moments after I watched it. That is how bad it was. I watched this movie once with my family, right? I watched it with my friend and my father. Then, then, I watched it again by myself. And then, I had to re-watch parts of it because I still couldn't figure out what was going on. And even after a rewatch, I cannot tell you for sure what even happened. I still don't know. It was so generic, I forgot again. But in the end, my dear viewers, I did it for you. So thank you for giving me the motivation, the willpower to suffer through this slog of a movie more than one time to give you the most fair review that I possibly could. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you. After all I just went through, I hope you appreciate me. If you found this interesting, educational, or maybe even entertaining, give it a like. If you want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date. But no matter what, have a great day. Thank you.